as far as I know, and they make everything from like what we were talking about, the lower end stuff all the way up to the handmade here in the States, you know, mm -hmm. and everything from this one happens to be a couple of hundred dollars, 420 net is what we're selling it for, and they make them up to a couple of thousand dollars, I believe, at least over a thousand dollars. So you got any idea, where are they located? They're either you they are massive. The ones that are made here, I believe, are up in Massachusetts somewhere. Let's see if we have this in here. Of course not. Please. They play pretty good, and, and it sounds good. I mean, these are humbucking pickups, so they sound, you know, fat. They kind of sound like a Les Paul. Mm -hmm. The same sort of idea as a Les Paul. That's the basic idea, I'm sure. But I don't think the public doesn't know the name, mm -hmm. so they can be very funny about that stuff, you know? Yeah, well, I think people buy stuff. Gibson, Fender, they know those, you know? You know, it also depends on these guys, whether or not they push it and how big of an advertising push they have, you know, and how whose hands they get it into, who's playing it. There were a couple of uh, fairly well-known people, of course, I can't remember their names right now, that were playing them, and we had some advertising you know, to help push it with that, but it didn't seem to work. Well, you know, a lot of Tom's them, got one. Uh, I actually do have one of those. What do you think of it? Uh, it's okay for what it is. The one I have is the one that they were giving away with Volkswagens. <laughs> Remember the commercial? You yeah, buy yeah. a Volkswagen, get a guitar. It was first act, and what it is, it has a preamp built into it, so you can plug it into the MP3 player in your car, and. Uh, and you can get a, a rock amp sound out of your car stereo with that guitar. With that exact one right there. Well, it's similar to the same same make. It's very similar to that guitar, but so it has a, a, but it has a preamp. a preamp built in that you have to put a battery in. Mm -hmm. You can plug it into a regular amp and have the preamp off. You have to have the preamp off then. But if you plug it into your MP3 player in your car or my truck, it doesn't have to be a Volkswagen. Then you then you turn the preamp on and you get like a Marshall amp sound out of it, like you saw on Slash playing one on TV. Uh, they're not bad, I, but now they stopped that promotion, and that that particular guitar, I actually bought one at a garage sale. Someone who bought a Volkswagen mm -hmm. didn't want the it. guitar. I got it for 50 bucks, but they're worth about 800 bucks. Now First Act's putting that that kind of guitar out without buying a Volkswagen, and they're about 800 bucks. Yeah. Uh, the guy that plays for Maroon 5 plays one of them. Is that he, one he, one he plays one of the high-end guitar, the high-end First Act's. So, like he said, you know, Name familiarity has a lot to do with Fender and Gibson's got that wrapped up. There's companies like Paul Reed Smith and stuff too, but Jay Tercer makes decent guitars for you know entry level prices, and and First Act's about the same thing. But First Act is making some high end ones too that that list for fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars. You know that's not one of them, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that different models have different necks on them. You know that, that's the thing. Every guitar player's got different preferences on neck shapes. I don't like real thick, like the early 50s Fenders were thick baseball bat type necks. Mm. They sound great, but I don't like to feel that neck myself. Mm. Uh, John's Les Paul, he had the neck shaved to make yeah. it thinner. So it's like an old SG neck, which is thin, thin depth and wide that way, you know, width across the fingerboard. So they got fat little fingers, <laughs> so it makes it easier to get them in between them when it's, uh, when it's a wider fingerboard.